I call that impression the lap dog. I wonder how many scraps Ermipos has received from Cleon's table. Ermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Ermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Ermipos should say what he wants? They're only words. Ermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says? What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. A an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Ermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Ermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Ermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Ermipos. Ha! Huh. Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Ermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. What is it? Wherever Ermipos... I... Doesn't look like army poses here. I should take a look around. Mask from the cult of Cosmos. Ermipos must be a member. <laughs> Looks like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer.
This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. I couldn't find Armipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Armipos and the Cult, I'd imagine. Armipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. <laughs> 